what's going on guys i know it has been a minute since i posted a video my final cut my editing software expired it's supposed to be a lifetime i fought and fit with it had to save up and buy a new one so i haven't had anything to edit my videos with i tried other programs they freaking suck didn't want to do it so here we are it's been a minute i appreciate you all the love i've been getting a ton of follows a ton of subscriptions and a ton of views on my videos so thank you guys for that content um that you've been watching i'm making new stuff now i promise we're gonna be just wide open balls to the wall on making content but today i'm actually over to uh my buddy dusty's house he has a bass boat it is december the 14th so we're gonna do a little winter fishing uh bass fishing hopefully all goes well i got the gopro i got my main camera he's got the boat i got the reel my rod it's just gonna be fun guys please 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 be sure to like this video if you do uh enjoy fishing and being outdoors uh this may also uh premiere over on hollow ridge outdoors that is our hunting channel so go check it out and uh yeah we're going to get wide open today so i'm fixing to pull into his house once i get everything set up and ready to rock and roll we'll be sure to check back in with you guys so be sure to subscribe if you like stuff like this catch y'all later All right, guys, we are at the gas station. We didn't need gas, but we had to get some drinks, but we've got the boat hooked up. There's Dusty over there. We are uh, headed off to the biggest lake in Tennessee. We're gonna pull in some hogs today, so stick with us. guys that is how you drop a boat off uh I used to do a lot of bass fishing back 10 or 12 years ago before i was married i was working at blockbuster me and a buddy we'd go night bass fishing so i've caught quite quite my fair share of bass but i haven't actually been on a boat bass fishing in a while um my little boy likes to go get on the river bank and fish but uh this will be my first trip on a boat like i said in quite some time so uh yeah pretty excited about it so we're gonna get everything situated here and uh, we're gonna go out and try to find a honey hole. All right, guys, we got over here out of the wind a little bit. Um, Pretty well-known spot. I've fished over here quite a bit. Like I said, years ago, I told y'all I've done a lot of night fishing. I fished right up and down through here quite a bit, and it's always been a good spot. I do got one question, though, Dusty. Do I look as sexy in this red suit as I feel? It's mine, so it makes <laughs> you look pretty good. <laughs> I'm throwing a rooster tail. It was what was tied on. That's what I'm going with just for the first few casts. Over here. There we go, number one for the day. Small mouth. Let's see that bad boy. There we go, number one. My record stands. I've never been fishing and not caught a fish. Sweet. All right, little buddy. There we go. Go tell your friends about us. I'm talking about 
He hit that hard too. He really did. You get what I'm saying about staying parallel with it? Yep. Pale. Just where they lay dormant and. You know what? That water's cold as piss. I did piss in it. He hit it right out in front of that log to the right, right there. Yes, sir. Hold on. Fish. He's got fish on here. That's a drum. <laughs> Big old drum, though, ain't it? <laughs> yes, sir. You want a picture of him? Yeah, we'll get. Oh, come here. He's slippery. I know that. He sits still. No kidding. Yeah, he is heavy fish, ain't he? Get out of here. We're gonna move spots again, as you just seen there. Uh, pulled in a small mouth, and Dusty pulled in a drum there. So we are catching fish. It means goal so far has been accomplished. We just want to catch more of them. So uh, we're gonna move spots, get set up again. We'll check back in. What, uh, what this cove brings here. Wind's not as bad here as what we had earlier, so I think we can handle that. Show you guys what we're working with here. Got a little one here. I don't think it's nothing to brag about. Nothing to write home about. He's just barely hooked anyways. Anyways, there you go. Number two. Hey, he's right. I caught a fish over here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, he spit it. Didn't even see it. Are you freaking kidding me? Didn't even see it. Well, he was a good one. <laughs> he's bigger than whatever it was I had, or the one I caught earlier, whatever he was. <sighs> Pretty much sums up my life. He didn't hit it very hard though. I just kind of felt some weight. <laughs> I tell you what, when I reeled in that 13 pounder with Scott, that catfish that night, I thought, hey, I've got a 45 pounder on here. I mean, it felt like a monster. He said, no, nah, when you, when the, he said, whenever you get one like that, he said, it'll pull the, the end of that rod plumb down in the water off the back of the boat. I said, well, regardless, I said, 13 pound fish, the biggest thing I've ever caught. No. Well, he, he caught a bunch of, uh, uh, bluegill we use for bait that's about get off of there piece of shit I ain't never caught a striper What you got? Right, that's a bass. Good one? Hold on, let me get reeled in here. Oh, baby! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Sweet. All right, guys, there we go. Got some biting here. Might be on to something. Let's keep them wet. Yeah, he did. Yep. Yeah, I believe that'd be a pretty good investment. Start filming these things. But just the fact you ain't got to worry about the battery dying. Yeah, All right, guys, there you go. We uh, we caught a few today. Not nothing to brag about. We caught a couple decent fish. Uh, biggest fish today was a drum for sure. Drum for sure, but uh. We caught a couple of pretty good little smallmouth there, so trip uh, definitely worth coming out. Fought a little bit of the cold and the wind. If it wasn't wind wasn't blowing, it wasn't too awful bad. But when the wind picked up, it got a little chilly, didn't it? Yeah. So we're uh, probably going to put this thing back on the trailer, head back. We may look at some of his tackle and stuff that he's got in the, his basement. He, he makes a lot of his own uh, jigs and stuff, so we. Uh, let me show you guys a little bit of that. That's what I'm gonna probably try to do once we start fishing a little bit more. Probably do some uh, competition type style stuff where we make our own jig, make our own bait, and uh, try to come out and see if we can catch the biggest fish. Loser's gotta go in the water. Yeah, loser's gotta go in the water. Uh, we're gonna do some crazy stuff. I don't know, you guys leave a comment down below with some uh, challenge type fishing stuff. Maybe. Some leave us uh, some ideas on something that the loser has to do uh, on each event so uh, 
Definitely plan on seeing some more fishing stuff, especially with this guy right here. Thankful he let me come out on his boat today. Uh, even if we wouldn't have caught a fish, just getting out and enjoying being outside and kind of stepping away from all the stress and worries that you got throughout the week, it's all well worth coming out here and doing that. So I appreciate Dusty for inviting me out today. But stay tuned. We'll do a little bit more at the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure if you haven't already, like the video, subscribe down below. Uh, go check out Holler Ridge Outdoors. That's where I do a lot of the hunting videos and stuff like that. And uh, we'll be sure to, to bring you guys plenty of content. We're here at the uh, the bait shop, <laughs> also known as uh, Dusty's Basement here. This is where you'll probably see us doing some videos uh, in the near future. Come down here, he's got his own little uh, setup down here to make his own jigs and lures. And, uh, we can come down here and do many videos for you guys, show you some different... Dusty will be the one doing all the demonstrating. I'll, I'll have to learn all this stuff myself, but he can show us how to make these different type baits, how to paint them, what works, what don't work, and then... I guess the good thing about this, Dusty can probably testify, is, is you can just try different things and um, I'm sure different baits will work in different lakes or different rivers, wherever, but you can just kind of try and experiment and do what you want to do to to figure out what the fish like. Right, and plus you don't have all the cost and then when you catch something, it's something that you actually made. Yeah, probably a little more rewarding to catch a, catch a big bass off your own bait. Um, but yeah, I guess the cost thing is probably... Uh, what a lot of you guys will be interested in because just from an outsider view i don't i don't fish nowhere near as much as this guy but it's uh it's not cheap by any means <laughs> so anytime you can save a dollar here and there it's definitely worth it yep absolutely so i'll just do a quick little b-roll section here and show you guys kind of some of the stuff he's got but uh like i said we will uh we'll probably do some videos here in the near future on how to make some of this stuff and um, may even get Dusty to explain what different baits, what they're good for, what time of year they're good for, stuff like that. So if that's something you guys are interested in, let us know down below and uh, we'll definitely try to help you all out. You can learn with me as we go through this thing. So uh, don't feel like uh, you're the only person that don't know much about it because I'll be the first to tell you. Uh, I've fished my whole life, not nothing crazy, but uh, I don't know what half of these lures and baits and stuff do. So this man right here would be a good one to explain that to us. So. Regardless, we'll go ahead and we'll end this video today. We'll do some B-roll of some different stuff he's got down here. Be sure, like I said earlier, like, subscribe. Uh, if you want to see some more fishing videos, I'm sure as uh, weather breaks and stuff too, this guy will get me out some more and uh, we'll give you all plenty of content. So thanks to him again today. Had a good time. Nice just to get away and clear your mind. And we caught a few fish while we was at it, so that's a good day in my book. Um, anything you want to say? We'll do it again. Do it again. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all.